So I've had a really good day today. I went out with some friends, went swimming in my favorite swimming pool, and then we went to Happy Green, and we've been there all day. Like, we well, was at the swimming pool for two or three hours, and then just kicking back at Happy Green. Such nice people, nice conversations, really enjoyed myself. Um, but what this video is about is my first test and the difference post food addiction. So that video I posted last week, the gift of addiction, um, <clears throat> I can't say 100%, but it feels like that was the end of the food addiction story in terms of not letting myself extract the power from it. So what happened was after hanging out at Happy Green, we're fixing to leave, um, someone started talking about hot chocolate and suddenly I got this massive craving <coughs> excuse me, to get a big bar of chocolate and just scoff it down and all the same noises were running it's just one you, you can quit tomorrow it'll be the last time how good is it gonna taste <coughs> how good is it gonna feel uh, you know all that stuff that's going on there whatever it is just hitting me hard and I was gonna go I'm cycling and I'm gonna go and I, and I remembered my video and I'm like oh great this is an opportunity to demonstrate the power I have over my own thoughts and feelings and that they can't they can't affect me and I came home and here I am now and I had a banana such a nice trade a banana versus a bar of chocolate so much better <clears throat> so much so much better so um it really does work when you're committed to using every addictive urge as the opportunity to extract its power to to not let it dominate you to not let it bully you down the same paths and knowing that every day you don't give into a craving is another day forward to you changing your set point, nourishing your body and giving yourself the nutrition that you need. Every time you don't give in to a craving, <clears throat> you step forward into a more powerful version of yourself. Someone that can't be dictated to by past energy. You're free in this moment. And the biggest gift is to demonstrate that to yourself. At the times when it seems most hardest, you can't quit an addiction after you've used or before you're going to use. You can't because you're not in an addictive space. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm coughing so much. I think maybe the air's a bit dry. I've got no water, but anyway. So before the addiction, you're not in an, you don't have a craving. Before the craving, you don't have a craving. There's nothing, there's no learning there. All you can do is say, never going to do that. I'm done. I've quit. That's the end of that story for me. Until a craving comes along and slaps you in the face and makes you its bitch. Right? And then there's after the craving, oh crap, I did that. That was a real big mistake. I'm not going to do that again. Same thing. Same thing. There's no learning there because I spent years telling myself before cravings, I'm never going to do it again. And after cravings, I'm never going to do it again. But the only place you can really apply the power of you and grow as a person to the next destination, whatever that might be is to not give in the craving while you're having the craving. To say no to the craving while you're having the craving. It's the only place that's relevant. It's the only place that's relevant. If you can't say no to the craving while you're having it, you're still addicted. And you know what? It feels great. It feels so good to have not gone there and put that yuck in my body. And how crap would have I felt? And how many more days would I have to go through being an addict? And how many more videos would I have to make of me going, oh guys, guess what, I messed up. You know, I'm done with that. Every time I have a craving, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna suck the power out of it like a superhero. Like a superhero, you know? That's what I'm gonna do with those cravings right now. And I look forward to the next one and I hope you do too. I'll speak to you again soon.